Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Math 20-3, Chapter 5, Section 1, Angles and Trig Reviews. Now, here we're moving on to the harder Pythagorean theorem question. When I say harder, I mean looking at this. Here, this uh, right angle triangle with two short sides, A and B, and the hypotenuse C, the long side opposite the right angle. So A squared plus B squared plus C squared. We set it up just like every other time, and now you're plugging the numbers. A is X, and B is 12. Now so notice here, we have the hypotenuse, and we're solving for one of the short sides. Now, is that a big deal? Not really, until but if you're not paying attention, four and fifteen squared is one sixty-nine. Okay. Now notice what's different about this. It's our x squared plus one hundred and forty-four. How do we get it to plus one hundred and forty-four? Well, I subtract one hundred and forty-four from both sides. So we're going to x squared is what's 169? 25. Now we need the square root of that, so the square root of both sides. Square root of that squared is x, square root of 25 is 5. And I'm going to double check that. Second square root 5. Yes. So here, these ones are a little nastier because it's one of the short sides, not the hypotenuse. Okay? So, I want you, I'm going to pause this, I'm going to start the blue one with you. I want you to pause, I'm going to pause this one and I want you to finish it. We'll come back and stand it. So, once again, a squared plus b squared plus c squared. a is one of the short sides, b is the other short side. c is the long side, the hypotenuse, opposite right angle. So, this is. 5 squared plus x squared equals 4 squared. And yes, if you swap a and b, you get x squared plus 25 squared. Now, I'm going to pause the recording here. I want you guys to take breaks, come back, and we'll compare answers, okay? Pause the recording. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. 2.5 <coughs> squared, I get 6.25, and 4 squared is 16. 6.25 plus x squared equals 16. Subtract. You want to do x squared all by itself, so I subtract with 6.25 both sides. I got x squared is 9.75. Okay, we can just put the square root of both sides, and I got 3.1 and one half. Okay? That's what you need to be able to do. If you have trouble with that, watch the video again. Just get some help from it. Now, moving on. Labeling triangles. In a triangle, there are three sides, the opposite, the adjacent, and the hypotenuse. Okay? So the opposite, sorry, this is all based on the angle. I'm calling it A here. So the opposite side is across from the reference angle A. The adjacent is the short side, the side A. What I, and the hypotenuse is the long side, opposite 90 degrees. So when you're doing these, so, when you're doing these, what I suggest you do is find the hypotenuse first. It's the long side opposite the 90 degrees. The second thing you find is the opposite. That's the side opposite away from the angle. And that leaves you the third side, the adjacent. And do it that way, please. Because sometimes if the triangle is drawn badly, you might not be able to you know, suffer that. Ugh, try that again. You should be able to look at the triangle and go, oh, the hypotenuse is the long side. If it's drawn badly, find the, the right angle and realize the hypotenuse is opposite that. And then you know which one the adjacent is. I find that makes life easier. Okay? So, hypotenuse, opposite, adjacent. So, label opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse angles. I'll do the first, I'll do the blue one, then I'll have you do the green and the red on your own. So, the right angle is here. So that's our triangles. Angle is here, so this is the opposite side. 
It's only by luck that you get it. Okay? Now I'm going to pause the recording. You guys later will be able to try it. All right? Come back and hear this. Okay. So, I find the right angle. I label the hypotenuse. Then I look at the angle itself. And I go, oh, what side is opposite that? And then I go, what side is left over for the adjacent? That I need to be able to do that kind of little spot you need to be able to do it. So, that leads to the next question, what are sine and cos and tangent? Now somewhere along the way you've learned about these. Sine and cos and tangent are operations that we perform on an angle. We use them to find sines and angles of right triangles. So, judging them by Sokotoa. Okay? Now, you really need to remember this one point of issue. Now, what does Sokotoa tell us? Sokotoa is a memory device that helps us remember the following ratios. So, sine is opposite of hypotenuse, cos is adjacent of hypotenuse, and tan is opposite of adjacent. And notice that's to find the angle. If I ask you to find the side, I want you to have a formula that looks like this. Hypotenuse times sine of A is the opposite. Hypotenuse times cos of A is the adjacent. And adjacent times tan of A is the opposite. Right? Now, I don't have to memorize these formulas. Go right here on the formula sheet. Look at here. We begin to find the angle. We use these formulas. If you're going to find a side length, I want you to write the formula like that. I think you'll find it much easier. Okay? Now, so, you need these formulas. Don't memorize them. Oh, you can if you want to, but use the formula sheet. So, right off the bat, let's do some calculations. Okay? Solve for the missing angle. Now, angle, which means. On the angle, we are using, once again, these three ratios. Sine, cos, tangent. That's it, as written. Alright, so, to make sure we have to figure out which sides are we dealing with so we know what trig ratio to use. So, to solve, find the missing angle, I have to label my sides. So, there's the right angle, so the side values. This is my angle, we need to be opposite, we need to be adjacent. So what numbers do I have? I have the opposite and I have the adjacent. What trig ratio is opposite and adjacent? Yes, and theta. Okay, so this is 4 over 12. Now, pay attention. We did this way back when in slope, but I know some of you guys have forgotten. How do we turn that trig ratio, the fraction, into an angle? Well, we've got to use the calculator. Angle is in, working backwards. And that's the tangent minus one button on the calculator. Now, as I said before, depending on your calculator, the little ones I give you in class you put the numbers in first. And the bigger ones, like the one I have on the board here, you put the numbers in first, then you hit the tan title. But, so it's four bracket, four divided by 12, close bracket, inverse tan. No, my, my bad, sorry. On this one, I apologize. Inverse tan, four divided by 12. I'm sorry. I'm getting old. 18.4 degrees. Now, that's all there is to it. It's not bad if you remember the steps and you know the trig ratio. Okay? So, I'll do the next one with you. And then we'll start working on them together and then we, we will be comparing answers. Okay? Now, this blue triangle here, we label the sides. Right angle. Opposite is the That's the angle there. This is the opposite. That's the adjacent. Now, what two sides do we have? We have the hypotenuse and we have the opposite. So, what trig ratio is opposite and hypotenuse? Is it by 
来学，阿斯泰帕因是三岁了。Again, if you have a little, if you have the little calculator in class, you put the number in first. If you have this calculator, I'm using. I have to go inverse sign. Notice it says sine to the minus one. Forty-eight point. How much? Forty-eight point six. Okay, that's how it goes. So far, so good-ish. Well, I'm going to end my code here because it's getting kind of long. But we are going to go on and find some more angles in the next video. If you're having trouble with this, watch the video again. Shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck. Keep on going. Bye -bye.